Today also marks three months since a series of atmospheric rivers devastated the North Valley town of Planada. People were forced to leave their homes as several feet of floodwaters rose inside. Action News reporter Alyssa Flores visited Planada today to check in on the progress of the recovery. Alyssa. Graciela Planada has come a long way from the streets that looked like rivers back in January. Life is back to normal in town for many, but there are still some residents who don't know if they'll be able to return ever. It's been three months since floods devastated the small North Valley community of Planada. Now new life is blossoming as people plan their new beginnings. Residents here are primarily renters or uninsured. Since January, they have worked to mop up feet of water from their homes, get rid of their ruined belongings, and salvage what they can. 80-year-old no Samuel Gomez describes how water came rushing onto his property and into his home during a torrential downpour in January. Over the last few months, volunteer groups have helped him demolish the destroyed parts of his house. Materials were just delivered to get started on replacing walls and floors. Though he's had to live through the construction, he's grateful to see progress being made. Just a couple of minutes outside of town, hundreds of people have spent months at the Felix Torres migrant housing. Maria and her kids are one of about 10 families whose stays were extended. The rental she lived in was flooded and is now being sold. She wants to return to Planada but has been struggling to find a new place. A few doors down, Omar Ramirez, his siblings and parents are grateful for more time to determine their next steps. It's a little relief, not so much stress finding somewhere to go, but it uh, definitely helps. They still don't know when flood repairs will be complete on the rental they have lived in for decades. Well, I've kind of passed there multiple times like throughout the week and I haven't seen like workers there like at all. The family wants to return to Planada but might need to relocate to Merced if nothing becomes available. Merced County officials say snowmelt in the recent weeks and months to come don't pose a significant threat to Planada. Still sandbags remain in place outside some homes and businesses. And there is some good news. Planada Elementary School had been closed since January storms because of the extensive damage there. Since then, 26 classrooms have received new walls, carpet and whiteboards. The library and fifth grade classrooms, they were a total loss, so they had to be moved to portables. The campus was able to reopen to students last week. Graciela Warren. Thank you.